Motors. Let's turn to one of them. Porsche's China CEO, Helmut Broker, joins us this morning from Shanghai. Good Monday morning to you, Helmut. Uh, let's talk about how uh, Toyota is dealing with this recall as a competitor in the uh, auto industry against Porsche. But um, what do you think of the situation at Toyota so far? I think it's quite important that uh, they react very, very thoroughly and very uh, immediate to the concerns of the customers. And I think this is what every other manufacturer would do and uh, really consider the concerns of the customers to fix the problems. And I think Toyota has started to uh, address these issues of the customers. And uh, I think we would react uh, uh, similar, responsive, uh, like they do. Mm. Now, uh, Helmut, let me just ask you, because Toyota's recall, massive recall, some would say stems really from its uh, part supplier, CTS. How do you ensure that your supplier's quality really match up to snuff and uh, up to standard? Also, we have uh, a very comprehensive uh, quality system in place. We have uh, uh, one department head uh, or one division head even reporting directly to the chairman of the board in Germany, who is taking care about all quality issues in the company. And of course, okay. we have a very comprehensive reporting structure, making sure that uh, as soon as a problem uh, comes up in a factory or somewhere else, the whole system starts to address this issue in the factories. Yeah, Helmut, but you have factories, uh, Porsche has factories, other car companies have factories around the world. It's now a globalized uh, supply chain, you could say. So wouldn't you say that the globalization of part supplying really makes it hard to pinpoint the problems these days and, and ensure quality? Uh, I don't think so, because the, every manufacturer uh, has a very comprehensive system in place, even people in the suppliers' uh, organizations to make sure that the quality is maintained usually. Porsche um, uh, has factories only in Germany, which gives, mm -hmm. gives us, of course, a better hand on the uh, quality in our factories itself. Uh, so Porsche China itself does not use any parts from uh, Chinese suppliers, is that right? Uh, at the moment, we do not source uh, in China, maybe indirectly via other suppliers, which have uh, 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 sourcing uh, points here in China. But usually, we usually use uh, European manufacturing and supplier base in, in, in Europe. Okay, well, Helmut, let me just ask you, how do you, if you were Toyota, try to ensure to win your customers back who have really been shaken by this because you're expecting quality from names such as Porsche, such as Toyota? Yeah, also we at Porsche, of course, uh, have a much smaller base. So for Toyota, the extent of the problem is uh, a little bit bigger than ours. Yeah, I mean, Porsche manufactures uh, um, 100,000 cars every year. So we try to keep as close as possible with our customers, which also makes it possible that we can address the issue much faster and, uh, and have, let's say, more uh, abilities to, to address these issues. Yeah. In China, we have sold last year about 9,000 cars. So you can mm -hmm. imagine if a problem comes up, this is uh, much easier to handle than uh, if you have uh, four or five million cars to sell every year. Yeah, you just sell 9,000 Porsches in China last year. That's interesting. What about the numbers for this year, considering we're seeing sales figures for cars uh, hitting double digits, 70% in some cases? I think this year the market will also see a 10 to 15 percent growth and we want to stay in line with the market growth at least. I mean the customers love the cars here in China, they love the Porsches and uh, especially the Cayenne is a very popular model. We sell about 80 percent of our total volume at the moment uh, with Cayennes and uh, I think uh, uh, 10, 15 percent more should be possible this year. Okay, let me just ask you one more question, Helmut. Uh, with the merger between VW and Porsche, has that changed operations in China at all? Uh, we are talking about uh, many fields of cooperation because, as you might know, uh, the China market is for the Volkswagen Group one of the most important markets. I think it has overtaken the German home market uh, last year already. So they have a very big organization here and we are still a small player from the Porsche side. So they can provide us with backup support in many, many fields like purchasing, logistics, uh, research, quality assurance and so on because they have mm -hmm. a much bigger organization and they are better, better equipped than we as a also newcomer. Yeah? You, you need to understand that Porsche China 
exists as a subsidiary of Porsche AG only for two years in China so far. So uh, we are still in the learning phase. All right, Helmut. Well, thank you so much for uh, joining us on this Monday morning. That's Helmut Broker, Porsche China's CEO.